thanks for tuning in. This is Optimus Commission with another video review. And today we're going to be taking a look at the Shredder from the new Ninja Turtles movie. One thing that I'm noticing is it doesn't say Teenage Mutant. It just says Ninja Turtles. Then you got a really nice image here of the, the turtles themselves in their very controversial new look. You come around here to the back and it says they were born in shadow. They live in shadow and they fight in shadow. New York City. Crime rates are on the rise and innocent civilians tremble in fear. But there's a force fighting back. Vigilantes among us ready to protect the city. Are they the heroes we expect them to be? And are they powerful enough to take down the masked warrior everyone fears? The Shredder. As you can see, you have all four of the turtles. Splinter, April O'Neil, obviously the Shredder, and the Foot Soldier. But really nice new package on these. I, I really dig how it looks. But beyond that, that's about it for the packaging. So let's get this guy open and see how cool he actually is. All right, guys, so here we have the Shredder opened up and out of its packaging. And I am really very impressed with this. Say what you want about the turtles themselves. This guy really does give me a very Shredder sort of feel. He really does look cool. There's a lot of various things that throw back to what we're used to seeing in Shredder, as well as having some kind of new bits thrown in there as well. He's really pretty impressive. Now, uh, I am having a little bit of a hard time getting him to stand. There we go. But you can see that there is a lot of cool stuff going on here. With some of these blades on the side, though, really do resemble something that looks very mechanical and almost machine-like. It's really interesting. I'm curious to see how that's going to play out in the film. Film. Now, just for general knowledge, it, it takes really about two years to go from concept to actual toy. So when they're doing movie toys, and just toys in general, it's hard to get it right the first time. If you look to the 2012 Ninja Turtle series, when the Turtles first came out, they didn't really look like how they appeared in the, in the actual cartoon. That took a little bit longer to get. And that's something that may be true with this as well. Uh, the design might have changed through the progression of the film. So whether or not we get this specific look in the movie itself remains to be seen right now. But this toy still does look really cool. So you can see a lot of different sorts of silver and gray mixed in here. You got a lighter silver or paint, or I'm sorry, plastic here on the outside. Uh, then a darker kind of metallic gray here on the inside. There's some silver bits painted here. You got this front skirt section here that's also, also painted silver. You got the darker silver or gray down here with the thighs. You got the lighter gray here with his shins. The helmet itself is a mixture of all those different grays as well. You got a more silver around the back, across the top, and then his crest is a lighter gray while his mouth is a darker kind of gray plastic. Uh, the only thing that I really think is kind of weird looking on him is probably his face. Zooming in to take a look at that, you can see that uh, his actual mouth plate has some molding on it, which is kind of weird, I guess. That's something that we're not used to seeing, but it doesn't look bad, I don't think. Uh, but his eyes are really tough to see. Uh, it's almost like they're just hollow cavities that are painted black. So it, it doesn't look bad because the helmet doesn't remove or anything, but it does give kind of a weird look to his just, I guess, face when you look at it up close like that. It's, it's not bad, but it does give a weird feeling. And then staying zoomed in, again, you can see some great molded detail in the chest and the armor and things like that. As I said, looking at these arms and stuff, you can see a much more kind of mechanical look as opposed to him just having blades on his arm. I mean, I like it. It's kind of unique to this. Then you come around to the back. His cape is a, a softer kind of rubber. It does remove, uh, it comes separate in the package, so you can take this off and you can just have this kind of body armor. But uh, I, I really dig this on there just clips right in there and stays in very nicely. It doesn't flop out or anything, but just again, great detail. The arms, the legs all have this very blocky machine look to it that just looks great. Even coming down to the actual feet, really cool looking details. Now in terms of his articulation, this was also something I was really very surprised to see. This guy's got a lot of it. Uh, there are some parts that he doesn't have, which I wish he did, but I'll get into that in a second. Uh, for his head, it looks left and right. It doesn't really, I mean, it, it kind of looks up and down like that, but I think that's just the looseness of the, the, the peg, I suppose. The shoulders move forward, they move back. You got these little bits right here that are separate from the rest of the body, so those can actually move up, and they also move in and out, but this section right here kind of gets in the way. This 
this also isn't really hampered by his articulation. Uh, well, kind of is. I mean, he, it moves forward and back. This is all a separate piece, and uh, you can see that it doesn't wrap all the way around, but it does move forward and back at the elbow. One thing that I wish it did have would be some kind of rotation, but I don't. there's no way you could actually do it. But they did put rotation in his actual wrist, which is really very nice. Nothing that I can see at the waist, taking this off for a second, uh, it kind of looks like there's a cut there, but I don't think it actually does. It, because this part comes up over it, so I don't think it actually does rotate at the waist. The hips here rotate around. They're on these individual pegs that move around, and then they move in and out. So you can move it forward and back, and this is a soft, flexible rubber as well. But if you want them to move in and out, you have to rotate it like this to get it to move in and out. And that's all done here at the hip. The knees bend and they go forward and back. The ankles move forward and back. I do wish they rotated or had some kind of a tilt in it because that's one of the biggest problems, getting them to actually stand sometimes. It's not hard to do. You just have to position it a little bit better. But I think the posability of them would be a little bit better if you could actually rocker these ankles a little bit. Uh, I just personally think that would be better. I don't think it's bad how it is, but that would have definitely added some more to it. So... Getting the cape back on here, pop that in there like so, setting him off to the back for right now. And then bringing in a couple other figures for comparison, here we have him next to the uh, 2.0 version of Shredder from the new 2014 series, as well as the vintage Shredder. Now this guy is kind of hunched over, so it's a little bit hard to gauge his size and his legs are locked in this position, so you're kind of stuck with it, and that's basically the same thing with this as well. So, well, and he does not like standing whatsoever. So stay, Shredder, you crazy drunken ninja there we go but that's what you have for size comparisons now when initial images of shredder and all the turtles from the new movie line started showing up a lot of people were quick to start hating them and i'll be honest i was a little bit on the fence myself but when i saw these at target today i was really very impressed with how they looked then when i got them home and opened them up the articulation really impressed me at least on the five figures that i got and at a price point of $8.99, which is what I paid for him at Target, this is a great deal, I think. Now, as I said, he may not necessarily look like this in the movie, but toy-wise, this works, and I dig it. Now, the mass release of the new Ninja Turtle movie line figures is still a little ways away. But if you're lucky at your targets, you may find them. And if you do, and you're a Ninja Turtle fan, I would consider picking them up. They really did surprise me. And I really think a lot of collectors and fans will be surprised as well. If you want, these are available right now for pre-order at Big Bad Toy Store. So if you don't want to deal with the whole hunt of trying to find them, go ahead and click on the link down in the video description. You go to Big Bad Toy Store where you can pick these guys up and add them to your collection. But beyond that, that's about it, guys. So once again, I want to thank you for tuning in. This has been Optibotomous. Keep in touch with me. Find out recent purchases as well as all upcoming video reviews all at Facebook.com slash TeamBotomous. And by following me over on Twitter at Twitter.com slash Optibotomous. Also, don't forget to check out my new website at OptibotomousReviews.com where you can check out all my videos from the previous week as well as see what I have coming up for future release. Also, if you like this review, please rate, comment, and share this video. And until next time, I'll talk to you later.